Hi everyone, this is Sarah Clear from the Rediscovery Centre um, and today I'm going to be bringing you a science experiment that you can do at home. So it's really fun, it's really engaging and it also for parents links into the science curriculum as well and you can actually link it back in with maths. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use something that you might have at home anyway. We're going to be using some red cabbage. So red cabbage is a pH indicator and I'm going to explain exactly what that means in a few minutes. So kids, when you're at home about to have dinner and your parents say, let's have red cabbage, get really excited because this is a very cool experiment. So just ask your mum or dad when you're making the red cabbage, while you're cooking it or boiling it, just to make sure to save the water and let it cool down as well. So when scientists are doing studies on different materials, sometimes they divide things into different categories to help them understand how that substance is going to behave. So one of the categories is, is something an acid or is something a base? So this is our pH scale. This is all about if something is an acid and the opposite is, is it a base? And if it's not, it's in the middle, it's a neutral. So red cabbage is an incredible substance. It is something that will change colour depending on something, if something is an acid or a base. So we call it a pH indicator. So what I've got set up here is I've got my red cabbage, I cut it up, I boiled it, and then I saved the water from it as well. It was very delicious. Um, I've also got some cups, so this can be anything that you're using at home as well. You can use small glasses or little cups. Just make sure they're see-through as well so you can see what's actually happening. And make sure you put them through the dishwasher or clean them out really, really well afterwards. Then you could use things, if you've got pipettes at home, you can use those. Otherwise, you can pour gently. Or if you've got an old syringe that may be used for cough medicine, maybe you could use that as well for measuring out the substances. So what I've done is I've poured our red cabbage juice into these little cups here. And we're going to test out some different household substances to see whether they're an acid or a base. Now, all of our resources are actually on our website online as well. So you're investigating what happens when you add acids and bases to the juice from red cabbage. You can see lots of information as well about what an acid is, what a base is. And while you're doing these experiments, you always want to learn a little bit from them as well. So make sure you record your results afterwards. This is just a simple version and you can download this from our website and print it out. So we're going to test out all of our different substances. We're going to predict, do we think they're an acid or do we think they're a base? We're going to make it a fair test. So we're going to use the same amount of liquid, in each, uh, liquid or um, powder in each one. And then we're going to test, are they an acid, are they a base or are they a neutral? So what I've got here is our, uh, our red cabbage pH scale. So what we've got at the moment, the red cabbage water, is kind of a purpley colour. So it's neutral here, it's in the middle. It's a kind of purple, purpley blue colour, so that means it's a neutral in the middle here. But if we add an acid into it, it's going to go a pink or even a red colour if it's a really strong acid. If it's a base, it's going to go more blue or green or even yellow. So let's have a look and see what, what these different substances are. Are they an acid, a base, or a neutral? So always keep one sample of your, uh, of your cabbage water at the start so you can see how much it changes colour. So that's it at the start there. Then I've got my next one poured and I think we're going to try some vinegar. So most households would have vinegar at home. You might love it for your chips, but maybe keep a little bit to do this test. So I'm going to use my pipette and now I'm going to squeeze it in. So do we think this is going to be an acid or do we think this is going to be a base? So once I start adding it here, you can see that vinegar is an acid. You can see the colour change here from the purple to the pink as well. So it's an acid. So around here, around a pH of 3 or 4. And the pH scale goes from 1 right up to 14. So let's try something else. So we're going to try some 
the soda crystals. So your mums or dads or your guardians might use soda crystals in washing. It's in a lot of our washing substances as well. So what do you think? Is um, soda crystals going to be an acid or a base? So I'm going to take a little lollipop stick that I've cleaned. I'm going to put some in. Give it a stir. Wow, quite a dramatic colour change there. So here we see that soda crystals are base. So right up to this edge of the scale, and you can see all the colour changes here. So I'm going to put the vinegar beside this one. And I'm going to put the soda crystals beside this one so we know what each one was. Then the next one I'm going to test is sugar. So make sure to clean your pipette or your syringe or your little spoon between each one because you don't want to contaminate the results. We want to make it a fair test. So here I've got some sugar. And do we think this is going to be an acid, a base or a neutral? So let's add in our sugar. Give it a stir around. And we see that it's a neutral. So it's right here in the middle of the pH scale as well. Now, how about some cola? So sometimes your parents might tell you, don't drink coke, it might rot your teeth. Let's see if that's true. So here, I'm gonna take a little pipette, we're gonna add in some coke, and let's see what happens. Do we think it's gonna be an acid, a base, or a neutral? Wow. So there is some dye in here as well, so it goes a slight brown colour, but you can see it's a little bit acidic. So when your parents say, don't drink coke or fizzy drinks because they might rot your teeth, a little bit of acid can do that, so be very careful, don't drink too much and make sure if you do have some as a treat, that you wash your teeth well. So that's coke. Next one we're going to try then is bicarbonate of soda, and this is often used in baking, so it's totally safe to use. So this one here is a powder, so I'm going to get one of my cleaned lollipop sticks. And do we think this is going to be an acid, a base or a neutral? Let's have a look and see. So we see with this one, it is a base as well. So you can use this test at home to test out lots and lots of different substances around your house. Make sure that uh, you check with your parents first to make sure they're safe to use. You can test them out and you can even create all the colours of the rainbow with these. So here we've got some lovely colour changes. So you can see exactly how you could create colours of the rainbow just using red cabbage water. Um, so remember as well to record your results so you can see exactly if things are an acid or if things are a base. But now we're going to see what happens when you add an acid to a base. What do you reckon might happen? Let's have a look and see. So I'm going to clear these away. And we're going to take, so if you remember, vinegar is an acid and bicarbonate of soda is a base. So I'm gonna take a little cup here. I'm going to add in some bicarbonate of soda. And then I'm gonna pour in my vinegar and let's do your prediction and then do your experiment. Whoa. That one gets quite messy. So we can see that when we add an acid into a base, the two of them fizz up, releasing carbon dioxide. And let's see if in here now is going to be an acid or a base. We'll put in a little bit of red cabbage water and you can test to see what happens. So now if you see, the acid and the base combine together and they become more neutral. So there you go, when you add an acid to a base, it fizzes up, creating carbon dioxide, and also making water, which is back to neutral. That's how you neutralize. If you want to get really creative, 
you can keep changing a substance from one color into another. So here, I'm gonna add in a little bit of citric acid. I'm gonna change it. So what color do we think this is gonna go? Absolutely, it's an acid, so it's gonna go a kind of pink color. There we go, quite dramatic change. And then if we wanna change it back to a blue or green color, we're going to add in some soda crystals. So have a watch of this one. If we put some just into the middle, you see the middle is starting to change color. And it's fizzing up as well, because you remember the reaction of, a, of an acid and a base. If I put in more, it's gonna fizz up more. Gotta add in even more. And now what's happening is it's changed from an acid, gone to a neutral, and then gone towards a base color. And if I add in a little bit more base, so I'm gonna add in a little bit more bicarbonate of soda, we can keep changing the color. So there you go, that's something you could do at home. It's a lot of science learning in that as well. You can use the resources from our website and hopefully have a lot of fun with it. And always remember, eat the red cabbage, it's very good for you as well. That's all from the Rediscovery Centre. Thank you very much.